What do you see Charlo ending up at, Sean? Right, so I, say, I can't see him competing at 168. No, not 168, 160. 160? 160. 160. His brother at 160. His brother's at 168. We're, we're at 154 at one point. Okay, you're right. I mean, being there, it makes the division interesting, gives more excitement to the division. But you don't think he has no competitive drive inside of him that the defendants' titles beat undisputed again? Go get uh, Tim Zoo. Mm-mm. Whoa, you just said it like that. Mm-mm. I don't think he wants to fight Tim Zoo. Um, okay. And for I think it's for a lot of for a lot of reasons. He wanted to fight Tim Zoo a year ago. You said, he yeah. wanted to then, yeah. but yeah. a year has went by. Yeah, years went by. You ain't you ain't brought yourself down to 154 pounds. Uh-huh. You fought at 168, and I don't know how the Kent was, how hard he worked, but you just got to figure things that you would do to get to 154. You didn't even have to do them things to get to 160. So you probably didn't do those things to get to to stay at 168 to get to 168. I just think that it's gonna take a whole lot mentally, emotionally, physically. Spiritually, the whole nine for him to get back to 154 pounds. This point in his career, I don't know how much he made against Canelo, but why would he put himself through that kind of stuff again? He he's not, you know, it's my boy. Terrence Crawford's my boy, and yeah. we so we toss that name around a lot. But he's clearly elite of the elite, and I'm not saying that Jamel Charlo's not elite, but he don't have intangibles that that Terrence Crawford has. Terrence Crawford is a competitor and ain't going to stop and ain't going to let nobody stop him from doing a thing. If you tell him he got to go down to 140 to get whatever fight he he want to get, he going to kill himself getting to 140 if you tell him he can't do it. You know what I mean? So I just don't see Jamel Charlo putting himself through that kind of fire, especially if he if he don't if he no longer feels like he needs to do it. But you would I, honestly you could say we know how to the the Versus Chello, uh, Canelo, how bad he looked. He needs he needs Tim Zoo. He, need he needs Tim Zoo? he needs Terrence Crawford. Yeah, yeah. His name took a hit. Yeah. You got to You got to be in the ring against. I think it's got to be Tim Zoo. Mm-hmm. Um, in order for you to get that instant credibility back. Back, because you go back and beat Tim Zoo. It's like okay, at one fifty four, you, you still go that to guy. Fifty four rematching Lubin. For, damn, we ain't not respecting that. You going to you going to fifty four and fight Mendoza? Ain't nobody mm. caring about that. You got to do. You at a point now in your career where you got to do things that people care about. Tim Crawford. Oh, we don't really care. Tim or uh, yeah, right. oh my bad. I like it. I like it. Yeah, Tim or just, Crawford. I don't know. Tim or Crawford. We don't really like it. We don't I care. mean, it's just part of the vision. And I think the and it's funny you say you told Tim that because I I wouldn't tell him. I mean, I don't. I don't have the respect you have, but hot take, Sean. He doesn't. His next fight is not against Charlo. Yeah, I don't know if he gets Charlo, but his yeah. next fight is not. Next Charlo. fight is not against Charlo. That no. and that's just that. It kind of is what it is. So then it becomes the, for him. It becomes keep that fire burning, even though it's not Charlo. Like keep you did that in twenty twenty three. Yeah, keep that, that was fire. A burning. hell of a run in twenty twenty three. I'm trying to think of like when I fought um, when I fought Danny, and I just watched uh, the little clip that I had did calling mm-hmm. him out. I watched that the other day, and I just, I love it. Um, but when I fought him, everybody was calling him a cherry picker. Everybody was saying he was the weakest in the yeah. division and all these other things. I trained for that boy like he was me. You should. Because I know that if I don't fight you and have the mindset that you're me, then I, something could go wrong. Mm-hmm. And the worst thing that Tim could do is not look at everybody he's fighting like they're Charlo. Yeah. You got to look at everybody like they're Charlo. Yeah, prepare well, for the best. Pre-Canelo Charlo. Yeah, it's Charlo still Charlo at one fifty four. Charlo still Charlo at one fifty four. Charlo just ain't that guy when you when you put him up there with the elites. Some people are not elite fighters, Sean. Yeah, you're just great fighters. Yeah, elite that that level is just different, man. It's like that in every sport. Yes, you got. A There's whole not bunch a lot of, of LeBrons. You got a whole bunch of great point guards, yeah. but it's only a couple dames. Yeah, it's only one Steph. dame. It's only one Steph. You yeah. know what I mean? Damn, I hate when people say, "Oh yeah, you got to get him in the ring with the likes of the Charlos and the and the Crawfords and the Spences." It's like it's only one of one yeah. of those. It's only yeah. one Crawford. It's only one Spence. Yeah. And I mean, clearly, yeah. There's a there's a difference between Crawford and Spence, which we didn't think. Shout out to Spence. Come back stronger, baby. Yeah, man. 